Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So with the price of bagels on the increase, and I'm not gonna pay that price, I'm on the hunt for a great bagel recipe. And since I've left New York, I haven't found a good bagel anywhere. So I'm gonna try this New York style bagel recipe I found, and I'm going to put my little twist on it. So I have some lukewarm water here, and I'm mixing in my sugar, and then I'm going to add in my yeast and bloom my yeast. I will put the recipe for these bagels in the description box below with my um, tweak to it, of course. And I like to stir in my yeast. Some people don't like to stir in the yeast, but I like to stir my yeast and get it going just so it gets helped along. So as you can see, my yeast has bloomed. It is quite warm in my kitchen today. It's quite warm everywhere today in this in this state. Um, so it took only 10 minutes for my yeast to bloom. And as you can see, it is quite foamy. Just gonna stir it down a little bit. And I'm going to get my flour and my salt in. I was gonna say sugar, but no, I already have my sugar in. So here is my flour and my salt, it's all mixed in. I like to incorporate my salt into my flour just so it's distributed evenly. And I'm hoping, hoping, hoping this turns out good because then this will be the recipe I will use because the sourdough bagels I made some time ago, I did not get a good response from the family with them. So I didn't make them again. So we're going to get this all stirred in. I'm probably going to put my hand in here in two seconds and get it mixed in. Okay, so I cleaned my work surface. It's nice and clean. And I'm just going to put down a little bit of flour, lightly coated with a little bit of flour. And let's see. Yeah, I can do this. Flour down there. And I did have to put my hand in it to get it to come together. So this is what it looks like. It's not all incorporated, but that's okay because I'm going to incorporate it once I get it onto my work surface here. Getting all that flour out of the bowl. See it, but I'm doing that. Just gonna make sure I get as much as I can out. I don't know, it doesn't have to come out clean, but just as much as that, that flour mixture. And that's what my bowl looks like. Kind of clean. <laughs> So I'm gonna take my nice clean hands, well this one's not so clean because I already had it in the flour, and just start kneading it. And I'm going to knead this until it becomes a nice soft dough. And I will let you know how long that takes for me. It might take a little longer for you, it might take a little less for you. Not everybody's hand pressure is the same, but get it kneaded to a nice smooth dough. Okay, so as you can see, it's not quite a smooth dough. It's still kind of shaggy. And what I'm gonna do, I like to cut my kneading time down. So what I'm gonna do is, I rolled it into a bowl, obviously, and I kneaded it for about three minutes. And this is what it looks like. So what I'm gonna do is cover it with some cling wrap, whatever cling wrap I reuse mine. So that's why it looks like this. Don't come at me. But I'm only using it for bread making. So I just cover it with some cling wrap and leave it for about 20 minutes to a half an hour underneath the cling wrap. And it will cut your kneading time in about half. So I'll only have to come another two minutes or so instead of the full 10 minutes of kneading. So as you can see, my dough has expanded a little bit. It's been about 30 minutes since I covered it and I'm just going to knead it and look how quickly this smooths out. It, you don't even have to knead it like two more minutes. It smooths out really quickly. Look, just a couple of turns and it's already a lot smoother than it was. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the cinnamon. So I'm going to spread this out and just sprinkle some cinnamon in. I'm just going to sprinkle my cinnamon right in and mix it in. And I'm gonna do that a couple times till I get the cinnamon all the way through. Okay, so after I edit my cinnamon, I covered it for 
uh, about another 50 minutes just to let it relax so I can knead it more easily and I'm just gonna knead it in I put about three of those shakes of cinnamon that you saw me put in and it's quite easy to knead as you can see it's already a couple of turns and it's already smooth so what I'm gonna do now is not even 30 seconds and it's pretty much smooth as you can see smooth I could have put some more cinnamon I'm this is the first time I've made these like this I've made the sourdough ones but my family doesn't care for the sourdough ones so I'm gonna make it just regular and see how that works out and if it does then I'll be making them this way from now on because bagels are getting way too expensive in the stores so now I've got it all smooth and I have my bowl here it's nice and clean I cleaned it and what I'm gonna do I'm just going to put a little bit of oil in it I don't know if you can see that put a little bit of oil in it and then I'm going to put my dough in grease the top and make sure everything is greased I've done this in a bowl that I've just taken the dough out and not cleaned it everybody says do a clean bowl whatever I've done it both ways and it comes out fine you might have a couple of dry bits from the previous flour I just mixed them like kneaded them in and it was fine so what I'm gonna do now is I you can use a wet dishcloth or whatever I use my tops that come with the bowls put it on let it rise for an hour and then come back so shaping them into a bowl I like to knead them a little bit to start that bowl shape and it I find it's easier for me to do it that way and then I just turn it over with the seam side down and sort of roll it in my palm I don't know if you can see that This is the last one but note to self I once they were sectioned off into eight uh, pieces I did add some more cinnamon to them because I didn't think it was enough I mean it smells cinnamony but it didn't really look cinnamony so I added probably about another I want to say two teaspoons or so I'm not exactly sure so maybe uh, Eight tablespoons in total so if that helps so what I'm doing is I have my section out bagels here and they're all it's just a parchment I'm going to do mine in um, my Sun oven uh, after I've what I'm gonna do now is take them and make the hole so I'm just my thumb and pointer finger I'm just making a hole in it and just making it a little bit wider so they will get a little bit bigger as they cook so just making it a little bit and you can see I don't know if the camera's picking it up but you can see the cinnamon in it now you can really see the cinnamon on this one well I can see it I don't know if the camera's picking it up but you just want to push in the middle your thumb and forefinger and just like finagle the dough outwards and that's basically what you want to do and then the next step is the boiling I think this is the key to um, a New York bagel so once I get to that stage I'll bring okay, you back so now that I have my boiling water I'm going to Put each one in and boil it for about two minutes on each side. So let's put in, I think four is good. And then I'm gonna put on a timer for two minutes. 
and then flip them and then boil them on the other side for two minutes. So once they were finished boiling on each side, I put them into my sun oven. I had it at 400 degrees, but when I opened the door, it did drop down a little bit. So I'm going to add a bit of time onto what the recipe says, and hopefully it all works out. So these are the results. I did brush the tops with an egg wash. They didn't come out as dark as I would have liked, but they do smell good, and I did taste taste them, and they taste pretty good we'll have to wait and see what the family thinks about them but i think they taste pretty good so this is what the inside looks like and the cinnamon is pretty much our favorite so hopefully these go over and this will be my new bagel recipe thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when i upload videos thank you very much and have a great day